Beautiful crafty friends, this is a flip through video of this journal that I've just recently finished. I've used this beautiful kit by Nectar's Creations called Cottage Lane Number no. 3. I will put the link of the store in the description below. And just so you know, for all the people watching this video, Nectaria has been kind enough to give me a discount code for you. And you can get 30% off her entire store until the 10th of May. 2021 so do use that go to the um to her etsy page and have a look and see all of her beautiful kits this one specifically i i chose because i do love this burgundy and the pink contrast i think it's really really effective and i just love the florals it's very soft and vintagey and really really pretty so i've just made uh, two signatures and I've put them together with a pamphlet stitch and then I've added this piece of lace ribbon just over, over that. And I've kept the cover pretty simple because I thought that I wanted the florals just to speak for themselves. I just have one of the tags that I've stuck down with some um, embroidered lace. And then this is a little specimen window that I've created. The butterfly is from the kit. And I do have a tutorial on how I've made these and I'll link that below as well. Let's have a look and see inside. So in the cover, I've just used a cardstock with like a, a matching color. And then I've put another one of these specimen windows. This is a picture from the kit. It's a little cottage with a little girl. I've added a little bit of an embellishment. And I've just popped it in here with a, with a paper clip. The, this is from the kit. You can see the beautiful burgundy again. Um, it's sort of... Go, you'll see it through, throughout the kit. It's one of the things that attracted me to it. And this is like a floor plan. You can see it's got like the different details of the room. Really, really pretty with all the florals. The colors are very, very vivid. And then I've made a pocket with some tags. These are from the kit. And I stick them onto cardstock just to make them more sturdy. And then just a plain tag too. Now when I print my digital kits, I do just use normal A4 printing paper the ATGSM I don't use any special paper and this is a snippet strip I tend to use this quite a lot in most of my journals because I like that you can put all the different colors and elements that appear throughout your journal and it sort of brings everything together and it really makes a lot of interest and you can put lots of little bits and pieces I really love making these and then here with another paper clip I've put this indexing card which will be used as a journaling card this too I have made and I have a tutorial for this as well. I will link all of these below in the description. I've left some pages plain just so that it contrasts with the busyness of some of the other elements. In a lot of my journals, in my latest journals, I do bring a bit of an art journaling element into them. I like to paint and decorate directly onto the pages like I have for this. And this you'll be able to see, I have another video which is a continuation sort of of this one where I've actually filmed myself um, decorating the entire journal. It's about five hours of footage, but I have put it at high speed. So it's down to one hour, just under one hour. So I don't bore you to death. And you will see me decorating this entire journal. You'll see how I've done this too. I do talk in the beginning of the video just to explain some of the processes, but um, that's only for like the first 10 or 15 minutes and then the rest I just leave without music or sound and you can watch that at your leisure you can put your own music while you're watching or listen to a podcast um, and then I've got some vintage music paper this is also from the kit with the beautiful little roses what I've also done with my kit because I wanted a vintage feel I have coffee stained the kit pages before I put them into the journal as you can see they've got a bit of a a brown tinge. This is a little note, notelet thing that I've made. I just use some off cuts from the kit, cardstock, an old book, anything interesting really and I've just stitched it at the top with the sewing machine. Where the pages are printed from the kit, I don't tend to do much on them. I let them speak for themselves. Beautiful roses, a bit of a key for interest and sort of like a doily in the background. This is a little pocket that has come with the kit. You just cut it out, stick it together, and it's a little envelope pocket. I do like putting things in with paper clips. 
some more plain. This one I've just done some stenciling. Um, I've used the same stencil throughout. Wherever I've sort of done any stenciling, I've used the same one. So it sort of brings everything together. Just a little bit of a ruffle to bring the colors together. A tab with some ruffles. This is a piece of, um, I think it's music box paper they call it. Um, but I found because it comes in a roll, it was very curly and it just wouldn't go straight with whatever I did. No matter how much I pressed it, I even tried to wet it. So I've just folded it over and made it into a little pocket. And then I've popped in a little tag from the kit. You can see in the background it has like a crackling effect. There's some berries, a coin, even a bit of turquoise that comes through. Really, really beautiful. Another double pocket I've created. This one I've done with the kit paper with little roses and a piece of vellum. And then just tags. As you can see, I use the same colors throughout. I like everything to be, well, not matchy, but connected, if that makes sense. Another tag. And then this is, um, if you're not new to my videos, you'll know that I do this in my journals. I keep sort of a record of how many I've made. This would be my 50 first journal that I've made and in the receipt part of the book from this I actually will write the date that I made the journal and what um, I made it for or what kit I used so it just sort of keeps a record just for myself some more just leave some plain papers for journaling some cardstock another sort of art journal page with some green um, acrylic paint and some stamping and then I just build up on top of that So a few little additions just to bring it interest. The kit itself really has, um, what I like about it, it has busy pages and it also has like calmer pages. So not everything is super busy. Because some of my pages I decorate with a lot of uh, embellishment, I like that there are a few of the pages that are just calm and bring that balance. This is just from an old book. I just coffee stand it and put some coffee cup marks as well. Some more ruffles. This is the center of the first signature. You can see the details. Really, really pretty. And then just a ruffle music paper. And this is another page I've done with some stenciling from a um, one of the stencils with some texture paste and I've put some color over that and then I've just built up on the embellishments. So I, I did mention earlier that I used one stencil, I actually used a second stencil and I liked this one because it sort of looked like brickwork or paving or how it would be in a cottage. I thought it suited the theme quite well so I've used this one too. There's a small little ruffle at the top just to break up the white. But you can see there's lots and lots of journaling space. And then you'll see here the color has run through from this page, but I don't think it really matters. I think the color really looks beautiful there. It matches everything and it makes it a bit more unique and more authentic than it, as if it is really vintage and old and used. Another paper ruffle. These are really easy to make. Um, you'll see in the other video that I've created where I'm showing how I've decorated. I just take a strip of paper that's long enough for this area and then just take little bits of just off cuts that I have from the project and then I just stitch them down with a sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can just glue them down. And there's bits of lace, some tissue paper, anything really goes. Another little pocket with some embellishments from the kit, this little label and the number. And then just some, I've stuck that on, this is from the kit. I've just stuck that onto a piece of cardstock. And then this is from um, one of my 12 inch by 12 inch scrapbook papers. The one side had this love telegram, so I'll pop that in as well. Beautiful, like a gold frame. So much detail. Another, the other side of that um, music paper 
and I've just stuck that onto one of the pages just so it avoids that curling that it was doing that I spoke about earlier and I've just put a little tab this one very simple just three strips of paper some splattering in the background and this beautiful tag from the kits another pocket this is from the kit as well I just printed it out as if it's an old receipt and then I just pop it into the pockets this beautiful burgundy with the pink flowers notes love the way the pops of turquoise come through it gives you a lot to work with um, so you can just take one of the colors and work through it or you can pick all the colors that are in this so much interest um, I went more with the burgundies and pinks but the blackberries are sort of maybe for next time the roses music paper this I think is my favorite um, decorated page I think it worked really well for me um, and I've got the light, like a sage green in the background, which brings through the other colors that are the other greens that I've used. And then I just had these die cuts, which were like leaves, which I stacked up. And then I've got a little cutout that says beautiful. It's from a 12 inch by 12 inch scrapbook paper. I just cut it up. I like that word and popped it in with a little bit of um, cheesecloth for texture. Some more, I'm um, just stamping through a stencil. What I try to do is, I try to use similar elements throughout the book, so it's a continuation. So if I've done this once, I'll do it two or three times, same with the snippet strip. Um, so I try to, I find that I, I can connect the book. Uh, personally, I don't like every single page to be totally different, but that's a personal preference. I do like it to match slightly. A snippet strip. And that was the first signature. The second signature is here. We've got another one of those tags that I've made, which will be used as a journaling card. A little zigzag pocket. You can see the pockets when I create them. I don't always cut them straight. I just tear them with a ruler. I like that rough edge. If you like a neater effect, you, of course you can use a cutter or a scissors. And then just a postcard. This is from the kit. That I've backed onto a cardstock and one of the tags. I just pop that in there. And then I like to decorate my little pockets. I've put a little frame, uh, sorry, a little, um, what I call it, a frill, a little ruffle with a little thing of wording there. And this page is just so beautiful, just all roses. It doesn't need anything added to it. It's just perfect. You could also use this maybe for the cover. If you wanted something slightly busier, you could use that as your cover. Or you could even cut out the fussy cut the flowers out and use those. Another snippet strip, some music paper, some more plain pages from the kit. Another little um, art journaling cluster using that leaf um, stencil and then just building up the embellishment. It's beautiful roses. paper ruffle I love this handwriting I wish I could actually write like that so neat and beautiful now if you don't coffee stain yours you'll notice that the little um, negative parts of the flower are actually white but because I wanted to tone mine down and make it more vintage when I coffee stained it obviously that colored in which I like and I think it suits the, the book but you could um, use it without coffee standing it and these are bright white which have a beautiful contrast as well another little pocket i've just cut a piece from the kit it was a spare page and then a little like a manila folder even the details it looks like it's got old tape sticking sticking it together and then just a plain tag too not everything has to be busy busy and a little ticket some plain coffee stained paper some more of that stamping and then this I've just stuck in also this is from the kit I've just stuck it down and put the washi tape which is like a green metallic just look like it's been just placed there another little tab some plain pink 
crystal butterflies, those beautiful berries again. And then you can again see the little tape bits. Very, very vintagey. Looks like the page has got foxing and wear and tear. Another pocket. And then this is just a plain piece of, just for any kind of notes. Little tag. A little cottage. These are really cute. And then this tag I just have. It's a ready made tag with some gold spots. Just for a little bit of zhuzh. And then another page like that with a piece of the lace. You can see this is from the cover. So I've continued it through into that. The little flower appears in one of my snippet strips. So you can see how I combine that. I do some splattering so that the color is brought through. And then just a piece of this from a spiral notebook that I've coffee stained and stuck it down with the washi tape using the same washi tape as before. And the snippet strip. There's that lace again. Look at that. Love it. I love it because it looks like these flowers are in the foreground as if you're looking through the bushes at these cottages. Here I've used the same stencil which looks like paving or brickwork and I've just added a bit of the, the dark red colour. And then what happened is the paint actually seeped through onto the side because the paper is quite thin. But that's okay. We did a little embellishment cluster there which I think worked really, really well. A little snippet strip at the top and a little ruffle at the bottom with the word memories. A simple little pocket with the tag a lot of details and you can see the splatter sort of in the design so when I splatter through some of my pages that's how it sort of matches up another snippet strip I so love making these they're so quick and they're so much fun. Some plain coffee stain papers, another cluster similar to the other one using the die cut leaf. There's the key again, maybe to a secret door or a secret garden. Beautiful roses. Another little postcard with the washi tape as if it's stuck in. A little tag or tab, music paper, and then here I have another, this is a large specimen card that I've created um, with the picture of the cottage again, and this number and this label are also from the kit, and I've added these 3D flowers, and like I said, the um, tutorial for this will be, there'll be a link below. They're actually very, very easy to make, and you don't need to cut out the window, so it's quick and easy. And then as a final touch, I have this envelope, which is part of the kit. And then inside, I've placed this vintage key that I have with like a little tag, so it's like a secret door key. And I'm just keeping that as a little surprise inside the envelope, which I then attach with a large paper clip to the back. I really hope you enjoyed um, flipping through my journal really, really quickly. If you'd like more details um, and processes on how I decorated it, please watch out for the video that's coming out, hopefully tomorrow, which is Thursday the 8th of April. And then don't forget about the discount code at Nectar's Creations on Etsy. There is the coupon code below. It's um, available for you until the 10th of May. Do subscribe to my channel. I love to have you stick around. I have lots of new content coming. Hit the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.